Kelly for seconds out and thrilled to be joined by uh, Lewis the Sandman Ritson, fresh from his uh, 10 round points win over day and Zlatan Channing. How would you feel, Lewis, after that performance? Yeah, very good. Uh, 8 out of 10 or 7 out of 10. I'm, I'm uh, happy with the performance, but getting caught with serious shots at times, but such is life. Yeah, you look lively tonight, quite fresh compared to your last fight. Yeah, were you pleased with your pace? The, uh, how you managed to maintain the uh, momentum all the way through? Yeah, definitely. You know, I've done the weight a bit different this time, done the, done the water cut, like, the, not like a UFC fighter, but, you know, like, different, trying to find different ways to do it. And uh, I looked terrible at the scales yesterday, but then the night I felt great, you know, when I, behind the jab, felt crisp, felt sharp, so uh, happy with the performance. Yeah, in your last fight, there was a bit of the old Lewis, the Sandman, yeah. Ritson, whereas tonight there was a bit of a mix between how you box under Neil Fan and compared to how you box with your dad. Was that a deliberate stance tonight that you took? Yeah, to be fair, you know, at the rate Meadows, you, you know yourself, Roy, I was quite critical of my performance. I felt quite sluggish. I was a little bit, I didn't feel great in there, but I got the job done. Where if I boxed like that the night, I would have probably been in a little bit more trouble. So, uh, nice and short, mate. You know, I had a good good talk with Neil before I went in there. I had a good talk with him in the hotel yesterday. Just telling us, you know, he, you know, my problem is I switch off and I am thinking about where the night. I didn't really do that as much. Me and other hand was stuck to the to the thing in there. And, uh, you know, probably a little bit boring what I usually box like, but when you go them levels, you've got to, you've got to do that. Because of the Rent Meadows fight, did you did you need this fight tonight rather than going into a title limit or a world title fight straight away? Yeah, definitely. To be fair, I probably need another one of them, right? You know, I'm not a, I'm not like one of these delusional people that think, oh, the fight the belts are going to go break and I'm, I can jump in for one straight away. I don't need a couple of fights. The problem with my career is I haven't had fights like that. You know, like where I'm going to hit kids and they're still going to be there. And, you know, he did dip a couple of times with the body shots, but I didn't really follow through because you know, I was just sticking behind the jab and, and sticking to the game plan. But I need I, I need fights like that and uh, to go up them levels. And you know, he's an ex world champion, uh, WBC world champion. He's been there, he's done it. So to get a good ten points win over him is, is very good. Yeah. When you were at your peak, or when people saw you at your peak as British lightweight champion, you were very active. Is that something that will that'll help you in your career now? Yeah, definitely. You know, like when I beat Rob, you know when I beat Robbie Davis, I think I had three fights that year, and then I went for like a year and a, nearly a year and a half to fight uh, Vasquez, and then nearly a year to fight Ponce. You know, like it's too inactive for me. I need to be an active fight. I need to be in the gym. I need to be in the gym all the time, and I have been. You know, like uh, I was went to fight Hank Lundy, that got pulled out, but I stayed in the gym because I knew I was going to be fighting at Christmas time. So I was doing back to back camps where. I think you can see that's, that's benefit is I need to stay active to be one of them. Like I, I don't drink outside the gym, but I do like my grub. I do put a bit of weight on, so the sooner I'm back in the gym, the sooner I get fight dates, the sooner I'm in there, and the sooner I'm keeping the weight off. Yeah. Is the defeat of Ponce uh, well out of your system now? Yeah, it's well out of my system. You know, I didn't do the weight right for that fight. You know, I, I was three pound underweight three or four days before the fight, you know what I mean? And I, I cut that up, and I think you could tell I was, was weak as a kitten in there, you know, like on that night. So, uh, that that's definitely even even a couple of days after I knew it was just the way I'd done the weight, which which knocked us up really. So it was out of my mind. Then it was just a there's not often you fight for like a world final title and I mean, I know everyone can fight for a world title, but I mean nothing but a final. It is the final, isn't it? And he'll be waiting for his opportunity. So we'll wait and see what, what comes up with that. But uh, out of my system and I'm, I'm back to the back to the confident Lewis now. You you'll be following the super lightweight scene closely. What would you like next, or who have you got your eye on? Do you know what I haven't really got me? I, I, you know what I'm like, right? I don't call people out. You know, I've, I've, people seem that. You know what I'm not one of these the trash talk. I come across as a nice kid, but everyone seems to call us out for some reason. But uh, listen, whatever, whatever program give us, Sam Jones, Jaffa, Rich, Richard Schaefer, whatever, whoever they say is next. That's so, you know what I'm like, right? I was like that when you. I don't, I don't knock fights back. You know, like being off at some big names in the past and said yes to them, and then the money's turned out to be rubbish, and they've obviously fights have fell through that way, but not through any of me not wanting to take fights. So we'll see who we get us and whoever the offer is. That DJ on the night, he was the first name that offered me. Yes, straight away. You know, most fighters would be quite scared to take a fight like that, especially when they're on the comeback trail. We've just proven where he had to, where he had to, uh, to take them fights and, and get the win. Many thanks, Lewis, and congratulations. Thank you very much, Roy Chaz.